Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a day in my life. Gotta go check the mail. Let's go do that. So I got this in the mail and I thought, there's got to be some rhetoric in there, right? So let's see if we can analyze it. Bam! This was a prime example that I found. Um, obviously this thing is a, uh, a, a magazine trying to advertise different colleges. So I see right there in very small letters, private colleges. So I'm not going to be going to any of these. <clears throat> but here's one example of a school that used very effective rhetoric. This here is Chapman University, and they used a very recognizable pattern of using these images up here to mirror the points they highlighted in their writing. Right here they have their climate for learning, their social climate, um, all these, also their economic climate. Different aspects of the school that they want to sell to the student. This guy. So um, for the learning climate, they showed uh, their sophisticated side with their state-of-the-art classrooms and small class sizes. Two very attractive features. Next they show their beautiful campus, they show also their sports program, and they choose to show women's sports instead of the stereotypical men's sports. This shows that they have a very active and outgoing student body. The lab uh, scene once again touches on the climate for learning and gives the notion that, above all, the school cares about the education that you are receiving. That is, their sales pitch. And lastly, this scene of being outdoors, you know, the guitar, being surrounded by friends, and just a relaxed expression of each student gives a sense that going to this place is fun and that it's a warm home that they want to welcome you into. So this Rapids ad, it uses a pressure tactic, something very common in, ad, in advertising, I should say, and um, something you'll see when a store is liquidating or saying, buy now, limited time, etc. So as you can see, Rapids puts the action verbs, um, buy now, save, only, all these things are in bold text and they jump right out of the page. Um, on the other hand, they put all the details and specifics at the bottom of the page in normal text. After you're hooked is uh, when they want you to look into what this offers. But um, they also use rhetoric in their images to the left, which sadly you can't see very well. But if you've heard of Rapids, you know just how much fun it is to go to that place. And all this ad does is accentuate that and give you a window into what, why you should buy a season pass. And here we enter the gold mine of commercial rhetoric. Gardens Mall. Alright, so this Brookstone advertisement is trying to sell us this massage machine um, and it's using the trust tactic. So this is implying rhetoric by using a spokesperson, Dolvet Quince in this, uh, in this case. And you know, he's been on The Biggest Loser, he's a professional trainer, and uh, you would trust a guy like this to give you advice and to show you what you want to use to relax and to get fit. Well, that's exactly what Brookstone is exploiting here and rhetorically using to sell more of this machine. Alright, so this ad uses two tactics. One is uh, imagery in the text right there. If you caught it, it said spring and refresh. Two things that give this very fresh and this very uplifting feeling. And then it uses pathos in its actual image. These cute little girls in their little dresses, you know, all the, the yellow, the bright colors, all of these, you know, are a symbol of happiness and they, they try to insert that feeling into the audience something that everybody wants and that's what they're trying to sell their clothes through a feeling through pathos and now we come to the final example of rhetoric that I found at gardens now this ad is very similar to the previous one as it uses pathos in the form of these happy children to try to convey the emotion of happiness 
And happiness is this universal state that we all want to achieve at some point in our lives. But even more so, this is an example of advertising that is geared or directed towards kids. The function of this form of advertising is to pressure parents into buying these products to make their children happy. At some point or another, we have all asked our parents to buy us something we thought would make us happy. This advertisement embodies the cookies, this, this product that they're trying to sell, as happiness, and shows this through the smiles of the children displayed on the ad. Those words? Uh, we're done. Uh, going back home. Probably. And as the sun sets on the day, so it will set on this video. I'd like to thank Ms. Shepard for giving us this assignment as I've enjoyed every single second of it. Hope you guys enjoyed my day and hope you guys enjoyed my observations. Until next time.